Previously on Keep Smiling Adventures, we cycled our way through the 369 miles to reach the highest pub in Britain, the Tan Hill Inn in the Yorkshire Dales, followed by a further 220 miles to reach the lowest pub in Britain, the Admiral Wells in Cambridgeshire. So, where to next? Well, of course, it's going to be Britain's smallest pub, the Nutshell in Bury St Edmunds, with a bar that measures just 15 foot by 7 foot, is claimed to be the smallest pub in Britain. So today we set out on a bikepacking mission from Bournemouth on the south coast of England and we'll make our way through the 260 miles to reach Britain's smallest pub. We've been to the highest pub in Britain. We've been to the lowest pub in Britain. So now it's of course time to go to the smallest pub in Britain, 250 miles of off-road adventure with wild camping on the bomb track. Let's do it. the massive puddle that is always here 100% of the time. But uh, last night it did rain quite a bit, so it's, uh, it's even bigger today, it feels. I'm not gonna ride for it because I'm not actually entirely sure how deep it is. So we gotta try and scramble around the side here. And it's uh, a little bit muddy, a little bit slippery. Let's see if we can do it without falling in there. Oh, nice. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, it wasn't too bad. This is the awkward bit. that time of the year where the trails start to uh, dry out but then you get like a night of rain and it just sits on the surface so hopefully the trails won't be too bad over this trip but I expect them to be a little bit wet and a little bit slidey in places and another big puddle <laughs> but it is that beautiful time of the year when the fields are all yellow with all the rapeseed nice Well, just going through Downton, 
done about 30 miles and uh, another fun, fun thing about this time of the year is the stinging nettles are out. Oh, I was hoping to uh, be able to keep the legs out, get a bit of a uh, cyclist tan going on early this year, but looks like they're gonna have to hide the legs away for a bit. Uh, stingy, super itchy stinging nettles. Definitely the least fun thing about this time of the year is all the trails become very overgrown and uh, lots of stinging nettles. Ow. But 30 miles done so far today, so doing nice. Gonna try and do around 50 and uh, find somewhere to camp. It's quite windy today, so hopefully I can find somewhere nice and wooded, but it's just cloudy and sunny, so it's not cold. It's actually getting to that point of the year where most Brits will start complaining that it's, uh, it's a bit too hot. And I might, I might do that on this trip. Right, 30 miles done. Let's go explore some more trails and uh, hopefully don't get too stung. Well, king of my little castle. <laughs> Found one of these, uh, what are they called? Like deer watch towers or something? It's a little bit on the wobbly side, but reveals quite a nice view. Today, I am doing well because I've done about 40 miles. I want to do around 50. Um, as the day is like a little half day. I want to try and get past, a little bit past Andover and uh, find somewhere to camp there. Tonight, for the next few days, it's looking like it's gonna be like, it is right now, a bit cloudy, but generally quite nice. Um, there's a few rain clouds up there, but they haven't unleashed on me yet, which is good. I'm really surprised actually today because last night, it literally hammered it down with rain. It woke me up. So uh, I was expecting the trails to be really uh, quite hard to ride and uh, boggy slidey but surprisingly they're pretty nice and uh all rideable pretty much a few little uh, soggy puddles but that's about it oh, but 40 miles done and i'm feeling good but it is a bit windy and it is sort of in my face at times and uh if it continues being windy tonight then i'm gonna try my best to try and find like a nice wooded area to be honest, where I am right now, which I think the woods is called something like Bentley Woods or something. I try and put it on screen if I can remember where it is. Um, I could probably camp here. It could be quite nice, but it's quite early. It's only half four. Some set, I think it's around half seven, quarter to eight, that sort of time. So still got a few hours of daylight left. So I think I'm gonna keep cracking on, get past uh, Andover. There's some um, woods 
some wooded areas around there. So that's the plan, hopefully find a nice little camp spot there. But awesome view, awesome weather, fun trails. About 209 miles until we get to Britain's smallest pub. Let's go. <sighs> done to about 60 miles i'm currently just north of a place called uh ludges shell ludges shell i have no idea how you pronounce it um i found a nice little wooded area and uh i'm gonna set up the tent around here somewhere and uh this is my view for tonight absolutely stunning woods and the sun is shining there's not a cloud in the sky at the moment so if there's no moon, we might get a, a really nice starry night, which should be, which would be absolutely awesome. But yeah, really nice day. I forgot how much I enjoy riding the bomb track. I mean, I love the Sonder and everything, but every now and again, coming out on the bomb track, just puts a smile on your face. It just pedals for everything and it's just, uh, it's just comfortable and it's just, just fun. It puts that smile and that fun back in cycling. Now, um, I got some uh, reduced, Angel cake and uh, some of these uh, curried lamb Jamaican patty. Oh, but I was wrong on one thing. It doesn't actually get dark till about nine o'clock, which is really nice, but it does mean I'm just gonna chill here for a bit and uh, make sure nobody's gonna walk past or see me or whatever. Um, should be fine. I did see a few people wa wandering around taking photos and stuff because it is really nice here. Um, but yeah, it should be a really nice peaceful night. All right, I'm gonna have some food, chill out for a bit, and then uh, wait till that sun sets a little bit and uh, set up the tent. Well, that is camp set up. It's such a nice night. The wind's really died down. There's not a cloud in the sky. There's gonna be like a very little bit of moon. So I'm hoping we'll get a nice starry night through the, uh, through the tree, through the tree cover. Should be really nice. It's not cold at all. It's like 15 degrees, probably gonna get down to like maybe 10 at night. So it's not gonna be cold at all. It's just gonna be very cozy. Very nice. I just love sleeping in the woods, listening to the birds. That's it, that's all you can hear, birds. It's just so, so nice. Really, really early start in the morning because I think it sunrises at like half, uh, probably not even, probably about quarter to five maybe half four five o'clock something like that so it's a pretty early start which uh which is nice because i was getting uh tired of sleeping for about 15 hours in a tent but now the summer is among us nearly right as always i'll see you bright and early in the morning bright and very early in the morning 
and I'm really think I've got my fingers crossed for a nice starry night. That's what I'm hoping for. Should be a good night. I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning everybody. Wow, such a nice night last night. It was so, so quiet, so peaceful. Um, and I just slept really good. So good that I actually overslept a bit. It's currently 6 a.m. It looks so nice out here today. It's like not a cloud in the sky, even though it is meant to be really cloudy today. But the sun is shining and uh, it's looking like it's going to be a good day. Oh, I could just sleep here all day, but we got to hit some trails. We got about 190 or so miles in total to go. So probably still a couple days or three days or so to go. Right, let's go and see what the trails have in store for us today. It is looking glorious out there. Just coming uh, around Marlborough right now. Done like 12 miles this morning. It is just so, so glorious out here today. It's just uh, not a cloud in the sky. Sun is shining. It's nice and warm. The trails have just been uh, generally really nice to ride. They're all pretty dry. A little bit overgrown in places, but oh, it's just such a beautiful day. I'm gonna do another 10 or 15 miles, get up onto the Ridgeway, and then uh, stop for something to eat and hopefully find a nice view for a little uh, early morning snack Ugh. before heading along to uh, Goring and that'll be our lunch stop for the day. Oh, duck. Oh, but yeah, such an absolutely beautiful day. I couldn't ask for a better day. There's no wind, there's no struggle, it's plain sailing. All rather easy, really. You could say it's just like riding a bike. Let's go. done 23 miles so it's obviously that time for some breakfast I'm not quite on the ridgeway I'm just kind of before it. I've got a big climb to come up onto it um, but before we do that uh, I've got another one of these spicy Jamaican pate things this one is a uh, vegetable one and uh, some salami for a uh, little uh, brunch and then we got a nice cruise along to Goring where we'll get some lunch. From now 
it's when sort of the hills are gonna start at least for the next sort of 100 miles it's very up down up down up down but in total to go until we get to that pub we have 167 miles if I could do most of that 67 today I'd be pretty happy um, maybe if I can get it down to like 120 maybe maybe a bit less who knows we'll see um, the wind is just sort of starting to pick up as we get onto the ridgeway it's going to be a bit more exposed and open so kind of expected and it's uh but it shouldn't be a headwind it should be sort of a crosswind hopefully not too bad but the sun's still shining happy days let's have some food and uh just enjoy sitting in this little village <laughs> let's get these legs spinning <laughs> Just come through Gorim, picked up some uh, refreshments, got some uh, nice cherry tomatoes and uh, the good old peach slices in a tin. Um, I've done 55 miles and we got 136 until we reach the smallest pub. 36 to go. Um, I think, because it's only about half two right now, I'm gonna try and do them 36 miles. I was just looking at the map and in about 30 miles it's Princess Risba, Risba? Princess Risba. And uh, after I get just past that, it looks like there's some, gonna be some good sort of camping spots and woodlands as we get onto the uh, Icknilds way. Um, so that's sort of the plan to try and get to there today. And then that would leave us with 100-ish miles to go, which is nice because then we'll finish, not tomorrow, but the day after probably. But. Um, got some nice cherry tomatoes I'm gonna put some sun cream on because it's getting a bit hot now and uh, I'll probably get burnt Time flies when you're having fun, guys. It's uh, already half six. We've got about five miles until we get the, uh, the mileage down to 100 miles left to go. Just coming past uh, Princess Risborough. 
and uh, yeah, all good. Uh, I just want to find somewhere to camp, hoping to find a, uh, a nice little woods again, like last night, because that was lush. But I might have to do a few more miles to get maybe past like Wendover. But uh, we'll see. Let's go find a uh, let's go find somewhere to camp. Ooh, right. So I managed to do about 80 miles today. I've just gone gone past R Princess Ridsborough, um, and I didn't actually do too many miles after I went past it. Uh, maybe just a few. We've got about 105 miles until we get to the smallest pub. Found this uh, nice wooded area just outside Princess Risborough. So I didn't want to miss the opportunity. So we're going to camp here. Let's set up the tent there, I think. It uh, should be nice. Nice uh, view. There's some trees. It's nice and quiet here. Haven't really seen anyone around, so it should be good. Just going to chill here for a bit listen to nature and tomorrow we've got like the first maybe 20 or 30 miles is still up and down a bit hilly but after that it's mostly sort of in the downhill direction still up and down shh fox um so once we get through that tomorrow should be generally quite an easy day gonna try and get the miles down to like 40 or 50 miles something like that maybe 40 30 or 40 i don't know we'll see we'll see tomorrow but um the pub doesn't actually open till midday so i don't want to get there tomorrow and get there really late when i get there just as it's opening right i'm gonna uh chill talk to these foxes and as always i'll see you bright and early in the morning Will you stop shouting? Oh, it's such a beautiful morning out here again. It doesn't look too cloudy. The sun is shining just over there. I couldn't have asked for better weather on this trip, seriously. Oh, and I could seriously just lay here for hours and hours. Because it's just really nice. But you got to start hitting the trails again. So, let's get packed up. Day three. Let's do it. Oh, so nice. Just been in my zen place all morning. Just cruising through beautiful woodlands. The birds are singing, barely a breeze. And the sun just uh, twinkling through the branches of the trees. It's just been absolutely glorious. And you can see from the sky behind me, there's not a cloud in sight. The sun is shining. It's just absolutely bloody beautiful. Ah, oh, so nice today.
Wow, that actually was a little bit longer than I expected. I've done 28 miles, so uh, now it's time to get some breakfast. I've actually just gone through Dunstable um, at a place called Haunton Regis, I think it is. Oh, it's been an absolutely stunning morning. The riding's been really nice. A little bit boggy in places, but generally just really fun. Weather has now started to get a little bit cloudy, but the birds are still singing. They're still happy, so I'm still happy. Got some uh, croissants for breakfast. And from here, it's just gonna be getting like progressively easier because you go up like one more hill and then it's all pretty much just in a downwards direction. The end bit's just a bit lumpy bumpy, but just like generally really small climbs, nothing big. So it's gonna be pretty fast going from here. I've got 80 miles in total to go. I'm gonna try and do another 40, maybe even 50 more, or more today. Gonna to try and get sort of, I think sort of just below Cambridge kind of area. Um, for somewhere to camp tonight for a nice easy roll into a Bury tomorrow morning. But yeah, absolutely stunning day. It's been pretty easy going. The sun has been shining, the birds have been singing. And uh, yeah, 30 miles done. Easy peasy. This trip is definitely a much easier trip than uh, getting to the highest pub in Britain for sure. This ride's been uh, just very plain sailing, very easy to ride, at least for me, especially on a bomb track. Bomb track's making uh, very light work of all the muddy trails and uh, overgrown stuff that we've come through. Um, so yeah, gonna have some breakfast, cruise on, just do the next 40, 50 miles a day. It's looking like it's gonna be a very easy finish for our pint at the smallest pub in Britain tomorrow. Happy days. Uh, let's get through it. I mean, all things considering, I didn't get stung too badly. Uh, hopefully we can find a way actually onto the trail. It did say it's the rider's route. I don't know if it's like an old version or maybe it's just generally just not been used in that long that it's uh, all overgrown. But when I did the Greater Ridgeway, I followed the Icknilds way and I never had to encounter that. So I don't know probably just found an old version of it hopefully we're still allowed in, in here and uh, that farmer whew, and that farmer over there doesn't come run me over with his tractor oh, well last a little bit of action before we uh, find camp <laughs> right a few more miles hopefully I can uh, get back on the trail and uh, Find somewhere nice to camp. Oh well, 
it must be the official route then because fellow cyclists go in that way no idea maybe it's just one of them crazy overgrown sections that just does not feel familiar i think the last time i came down this section was uh when we did the greater ridgeway and i want to say i must have been around here when uh we had lightning storms and everything so i was probably just uh just pedaling my little heart out to try and find somewhere to hide <laughs> but it's very very overgrown right now oh, let's go do some more gardening Oh, what a absolutely awesome day. I managed to do 80 miles. I ended up doing a bit further than I wanted to, um, just because I couldn't find anywhere to camp. But then 80 miles, we've got just under 30 miles left to go. So should be plain sailing tomorrow. I found a little wooded area just north of Linton, a little place called Linton. Big kicker of a climb out of there, um, but this space looks pretty decent. Nice bit of area here, and there's just surrounded by blue boughs. Normally, I would like want to get a bit deeper into the woods, but I don't want to destroy all them. And this uh, this little spot here was already here, so this looks good. Should be able to set up camp here. So I'm currently half six, so solid day, 80 miles, and uh, still lots of time to chill out. So gonna have uh, some, what have we got? Got some pizza for tonight and oh that smells really good and yeah just feeling really good today was uh just such a nice day the birds are still singing and that tells you all you need to know has gone a bit gray now but um hopefully no rain and uh this should be a really decent camp spot for tonight oh, it's just so nice and this area just surrounded by bluebells. Beautiful. Perfect camp setup for the night. It's uh, just really nice. The birds, they're still singing. They'll go to bed at some point, I'm sure. But uh, this is the camp spot for tonight. How nice is that? Surrounded by bluebells. Nice. As always, I'll see you bright and early. In the morning it's not going to be cold tonight it's going to be like eight nine degrees again it's not supposed to rain it should be a very quiet pleasant good night we have 30 miles until we get to that pub we've got to follow the ichnild way a little bit longer until we turn off towards bury st edmunds the nutshell we are coming see you in the morning Oh, wow. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Another day. Today, we are going to make it to the smallest pub in Britain. Just 30 miles to go. Last night, slept amazingly. So quiet. So peaceful. And I'm waking up, opening my tent, and the sun is just blinding me right now. It's coming through them trees, and it looks like it's another beautiful 
morning. This trip has just been full of beautiful mornings. Oh, just 30 miles to go until we get a pint at the smallest pub in Britain. Let's get packed up and on our way. Oh, this looks like it's gonna be another stunning morning. Look at that sun, rise and shine. Let's go. Ah, another day, another bike ride. Well guys, there we have it. 250 miles of bikepacking adventures to get to the smallest pub in Britain. That was a fun adventure, absolutely stunning scenery, beautiful weather, and the sun's still shining. Ah, that was a really good trip. We've been to the highest pub, we've been to the lowest pub, we've been to the smallest pub in Britain, or have we?